Hi everyone. Um, many of you might be familiar with Enscape. It's, it's a platform that is very, very useful to designers and for various reasons. One of them, I love it because when I start designing something, then I'm able to enter that scene in virtual reality if I have goggles uh, connected onto my computer. I don't even need light boxes because I can navigate using my keyboard and mouse. And secondly, if you do have light boxes set up, it's a wonderful tool for clients to navigate their model in 3D and it's real time. And it takes through IES files um, or photometric web files through the lights. You can change the time of day and do all sorts of nice things. It's a fantastic tool. But to have it operating properly, you need to set it to the correct graphics card. I'd just like to illustrate that for you. Here in Revit, I've got a, a camera view and I'd like to view that within Enscape. You can see that I've got Enscape installed, the latest version. It's fantastic. And then over on the left hand side, I click on start. And while it's busy, I want to have a look at what my computer is doing in the task manager. Specifically under what it's doing with the GPUs. Alright, and here you can see it's actually it's running into a bottleneck, but it's using the onboard graphics. And that's not really what I want. Um, I'd like to have the NVIDIA, the dedicated graphics card, being used for rendering the scene. And that's very important because, you know, this onboard graphics is not going to do the job. Um, not that it's a fantastic graphics card either for uh, uh, visualization. One would obviously rather right, like to have an RTX 2020 or um, uh, 20, uh, 2070 or 2080 or something like that. But, um, you know, at least not the on onboard graphics. So this is a big error. This is not what we should have. And I'd just like to sh uh, show you how you can set that. Look at that. That is amazing, huh? It really is incredible that you can, at the click of a button, get into your into your model like this, and then navigate in virtual reality if you have some goggles. All right. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to show you how to actually do this. If you have an NVIDIA card, um, for the other graphics cards, there's some other things you can do with that. There's the NVIDIA settings. If you right click um, on that and say NVIDIA Control Panel. Then it opens up um, a dialog in which you can set which uh, graphics card you'd like to use here in manage 3d settings here it says auto select let's just say well you know what just use the high performance and video processor and apply i'm hoping i don't have to restart to have this take effect since i've got revit open already but let's have a look let's start And there we go, now it's using the NVIDIA processor. Much better. Much better. All right, so just be careful of that. Don't just install Enscape and think it's uh, using the, the dedicated processor. I'd rather go and set that. And uh, a bit of advice when you do do this with clients and for yourself, don't do erratic movements because as you move erratically, the scene dissolves and then resolves. You can see that on the ceiling over here. All right. So slow movements are better for visualization than fast movements. And just to tune your clients to that as well, or your prospective clients so that they understand that they must rather look slowly around as opposed to just quickly dotting their eyes in this way or that. And if you have any chance whatsoever, please install the trial version of Enscape. It is an amazing piece of software. I think you're going to love it. In fact, Autodesk recommends using it instead of their live platform, which is no longer supported on uh, Revit 2020. And uh, to my mind, it's a fantastic platform to use. Until next time, enjoy Revit and enjoy your visualizations.